What is up, bass fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to another exciting episode. And today I am a doing a solo mission. I'm all by myself. I'm down here at the Mississippi River in Wisconsin, and I'm gonna go out and try to find some fish. I have not been down here in quite a long time. The last time I put in here and fished this part of the river, I was with Jeffrey, and I'll link that video down below. We made a video called Secret Tricks with Spinner Baits or something like that. I'll put the link down in the description below. And uh, Jeffrey put a clinic on you you know, with them skirtless swim jigs, just putting a little grub tail, I think is what we were doing on them. And uh, yeah, Taking the so skirts I'm gonna go out. It's different I'm time of the year. That was uh, in the spring, bait. and now we're just getting the very end of summer into fall. It's actually um, early September right now, and the temperatures are dropping. And I think these big girls are gonna start chewing, and they're gonna be out roaming around, and you're gonna be seeing a lot of moving baits. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So the uh, Pimp and Crest Liner was actually out last night because uh, I had a guy working on my garage door. So I left it sit out and it rained, so it's pretty wet in here, but that's all right. Anyways, I'm gonna pull some rods out, dump the boat in and get fishing. It's like 6.40 in the morning. So stay tuned folks, swan hunting starts right now. Smally. Where the bigger ones at? All right, dirty devils in here. Don't want a crankbait. Don't want a tube. See if they'll eat a rage crop. There might not even be any fish in here. I don't know. Go. Oh, j -j 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 giant bass. Then he got off. The school of them there, in that little point. And there's a snag. All right. Well, my next two spots I was going to fish, there was a boat on each one of them. So, just ventured up a little further and I'll hit those spots later. Definitely two spots I want to check. All right, folks, I guess I'm just going to sit out here and talk to myself. <laughs> just caught a 14 and a quarter inch bass, flipping a lay down. And I'm sitting here talking to myself, you know, oh, I don't know if he'll keep, he might. And I measured him and <clears throat> he kept. And then I realized it wasn't recording. So I went to submit them into the Angler X uh, Take Two tournament, which by the way, the first one is done. I ended up getting third place. And Jeff got second and Angler X got first. Well, anyways, I go to submit them and I'm like, holy crap, there's already a bunch of fish. And uh, I think it's Roger Carlson. He's already got 78 inches. So good for him. Good job, buddy. I know he was out, said he was gonna be out yesterday doing some fishing. Must have had himself a pretty good day. That's a solid start. Two days into the 30, 31 day tournament. He's got all month to pick everything apart and upgrade. Good job. I didn't know if there'd be any fish in here or not on this bank. Kind of a high water spot, but I figured I'd fish the mouth of it. It looks like there's relatively somewhat deep water. I think it's three, three to four foot deep right here. Some of these lay downs go into. Sure enough, there was a bass on one of them. I think I'm gonna tie a spinnerbait on so I can zip up through some of this wood a little faster. Got some wind now. Don't really wanna throw my chatterbait in there because to me, chatterbaits and wood don't get along. I end up getting them freaking stuck and everything. Don't ask me how a spinnerbait doesn't. It's big exposed, exposed blades or hook, <laughs> but I don't get them hung up in the wood very much compared to a chicha chatter bait. But for now, I think I'm just gonna pick this apart a little bit, flipping it, see if I can pick up a couple more.
There we go. It's not a bad one, I don't think. Heck no. You betcha. Get off this point here. All right. Nice two and a half pounder right there. Yeah, buddy. Just choked the chatterbait. You betcha. Puts me up in the second. 31 and a quarter. I'm coming from I'm coming for you, Raj. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh. I got the biggest fish. <laughs> Alright. Just had a feeling that point looked better than the last one. There we go. I don't think this is a bass. Doggy. All right, doggy. You can go back to your home after you ruin my freaking chatterbait prick. Oh, he did. He took all my skirt right off it. Brandon, I need a new skirt. All right, so that freaking dogfish ripped my whole freaking skirt off. I only have one more B Height Delight chatterbait, so I don't want to open it. It's brand new. I'm saving it for tournament day. So I'm going to put on this golden shiner which I've been doing pretty much just as well on. Maybe not quite as well as Beehive Delight, but it's been catching them. I've really all been catching them. Dawson's been catching them on the original. Brandon's been catching them on the original. Should do her. Another freaking dogfish. Ah. Settle down. <laughs> All right. After about 10 minutes of digging that out of a dogfish that wouldn't quit flopping, he freaking got it. Every fish I've caught on the chatterbait today absolutely freaking destroyed it. That'd be two doggies and that big bass. Man, they are eating it. This one, <laughs> that last dogfish I just caught, he bent the weed guard or not the weed guard, but the bait keeper. On a chat, on a jackhammer, the bait keeper is two, two strands of wire. And he had both of them bent out. Not just bent out, but bound out and bent up. And it was a mess. I think I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> Nothing but doggies ever since I left that spot where I caught the big one. Little fish, but way out here at the end of the sand point. All right, I really need to get a couple more keepers. It has been a grind. I've just been doing a lot of exploring and hopping around, just doing, finding new spots and hitting old spots that I haven't been to in a while, trying to find a pattern. So far, it's been points. Almost every point I've fished, I've caught a fish on. Minus like two. So probably eight out of 10 points that I've hit today have had fish on them. Found some other fish here and there. Random laydowns, one on a random rock. Sand points have been really good, as well as grass and wood points. This heard from Lead Mine Lunkers. He just got signed up for the Angler X Games and he's Sounds like he's down there trying to catch a couple. I don't think me and, me and him are even on the same pool right now. We're probably about 80 miles away, apart. I was gonna zoom up and hit the next point and there's a creek mouth up here that me and Nick have done really good on in tournaments, but something drew me over here to these laydowns. There's good water on them, not far from a point. I just had a feeling. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. 
I almost skipped that point where I caught that big one this morning too. Cause I was trying to stick to points that were closer to the main channel. But then I figured out they're on points back in the secondary and coming out of the backwaters as well. Just gotta find the ones where there's fish. It's definitely not a smackdown out here today. There we go. Oh, that feels like a good fish. Please be a bass. Oh, it's a good bass. Not really a super, super good bass, but he'll keep. I'm gonna throw him in the live wall. And then I'm gonna make sure he goes 14 first. Keep fishing around this so I can keep at her. Oh yeah. Here's your keeper. Chabing! Smoked or age bug. I ran out of flipping birds. I was catching them on the black and blue flipping bird, and then I ran out of them. Oh, Scott! I need some flipping bird. I am the master of my camera batteries dying right when I get on some fish. Just caught that one, threw them in the live wall, so I can circle around this area here. It's been a really good area for us in the past. This time of year, too. Good gradual drop right there off that clay, kind of sandy bank. A couple really nice lay down standing trees here in the middle. Good current break by that. And then there's, it's a creek mouth. And man, you can really load the boat in this spot. So I'm just gonna stay back and I flip the, that first tree there. I'm gonna flip the middle here. And then I'm gonna go around and throw a chatterbait. See if they're out in the middle here. We loaded the boat right in the middle one day, spinner bait. All right, folks. So I just took a little break. I was talking to my buddy Brent and uh, I decided to pull this guy out, measure him. He is 14.75 inches. And that moves me into, I don't know how well you can see that. Keeps me in second, I got 46 inches. So I'm gonna release that guy there so he can go back to his home. And I'm gonna wash the board out, off, keep fishing. There we go. Little bass. Jesus, this guy meant freaking business. Couldn't even catch up to him. <laughs> I felt a little thunk, and I raised my rod up, and my line was so slack, I just started reeling. <laughs> By that time, it was all the way to the other side of the boat. Just wish I get two more keepers for a limit. Fishing all day, and I've only got three keepers. I know I could probably go for a run, and catch a couple but saving that for tomorrow pound out some other stuff up here I think I'd be able to catch a couple dinks right a couple 14 inches to fill my limit out no there we go that's not a bass I don't think nope another pike don't take my there you go not taking my jackhammer Get a little bigger, then I can take home and eat you. Should be one under there. Boy, you sure would think. There we go. And that's a bass. I don't think he's going to keep. He's going to be really, really close. Kind of called my shot there, didn't I? Let's see if he's going to go 14. You betcha. 14 and a curter. 14 and a half. Got one, he says. That's gonna bump me up to 60.5. All right, sorry buddy. There you go. The old freaking jackhammer. 
manatee grub claim another one i'm gonna flip this see if i can pull another one out of there <clears throat> we go could this be number five I don't think so a little too small I think chunky little guy 13 all day oh she's a beaut Clark that's a wrap folks I am all done here on the river today what an absolute grind out there today. Uh, I ended up only catching four keepers. Did catch a lot of fish, but uh, wasn't catching the big ones. Caught some dogfish, uh, caught some pike, largemouth and smallmouth. Jackhammer chatterbait ruled the day again. I'm gonna try to keep this short because I am on my last battery and my memory card is just about full. So it was quite the grind out here today. All right, folks, sorry about that. I know the wind is freaking bad audio sucks on this GoPro, but either my memory card went full or my last battery just died. Anyways, Jackhammer Chatterbait ruled the day with the manatee grub. It was freaking on fire. I didn't catch my first fish of the day. It was on a tube flip, flipping and dragging it on a rock pile, offshore rock pile. Otherwise, I caught a couple flipping. The flipping bird, uh, rage crow and rage button. Tried to crankbait a little bit, didn't get nothing on that either, but uh, the chatterbait's still going strong and that's absolutely fine with me because I love catching them on it. It's really fun and they're freaking eating it when they get it. Just absolutely eating it. Anyways, if you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now. Hit that bell so you get notified every time I put out, <laughs> we put out a new video. Clobber that thumbs up button, Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you are never too fat to fish.